My guest tonight scored nearly 1,700 points at VCU, went to three NCAA tournaments, won two conference tournaments, and one big Final Four. But the number tonight is number 20, because that's the number of Bradford Burgess, whose jersey will be hung from the rafters. Bradford, thanks for being here. Glad to be here. Glad to be back. Brad, uh, just being in this building again, I understand this is your first time catching game here at the Seagull Center since you graduated. What kind of feelings do you get just walking in this building? Um... Great, amazing feeling, man. Um, you know, just seeing the renovations, just seeing the, you know, the, the atmosphere on TV, you know, and just to, to finally be able to experience it live and firsthand is, you know, going to be an amazing feeling. What, what kind of emotions do you get from being back here? And, and, and what do you miss about, pl about playing in this building? Um, a lot of emotions, man. You just, you know, from, from all the memories growing up, you know, and, and just being in college. And, you know the the fan atmosphere, the support that you know they, that was given here to to myself and my family. You know it's just just amazing, man. But uh, you know I promise I won't cry. I, pr I promise <laughs> I won't cry. What you know? When did this this idea to retire your jersey? When did that first come up? And what was your reaction to that? Um, Coach Smart and I have been talking about it. Uh, you know ever since I left. Um, but uh, you know it was always a scheduling conflict. And, um, you know, finally, finally got a chance to be able to do it. You know, it's, it's a great honor. You've been coming to games here for a long time, and so you've had an opportunity to see these jerseys and, and the names hanging up there. What does it feel like to sort of be in that inner circle now? Um, it's, uh, you know, it's something that I can't describe, man. Um, you know, like, like growing up and, and seeing the names and then having the experience of playing with another player who had their jersey retired. Um, you know, this is a, a great feeling, man, and you know, I'm, I'm very honored, very blessed, and and happy to be to be up there and in that great group of guys. Yeah, you, you were on the floor here when when Maynard's jersey was tired. That was your freshman year. What do you remember about that day, and and you know about about Eric and his reaction? Um, I remember the game. I believe it was the Georgia State game. Um, and, you know, just you know, just just watching it. Uh, you know, it being his senior night. Um, you know, all-time leading scorer, you know, one of, one of the best players in, in history of the school. Um, you know, at the time, you know, it was, it was just a great feeling. I never thought, you know, I'd be up there with him. But, um, you know, just, just seeing how the crowd was and just, just how everybody was just so, you know, just, just so happy for him. And, you know, he, it's well-deserved. You know, I'm just glad to, to have those same things be described about me. There's going to be a number 20 hanging in the rafters, but there's also a number 20 here down on the floor, and, and you're actually going to get to see Jordan play as a Ram for the first time. What you know? What's that going to be like for you? Um, I'm really excited. Uh, you know, I've told all all the guys. You know, I'm I'm excited for the game. I said, you know, I said they better win. Um, but uh, you know, I'm just excited to finally see him play. I've been wanting to see him play for a long time, and um, you know, it's it's great that all this is happening. You know, on, on the same day and. You know, hopefully, hopefully things will go well. Now, w one thing a lot of people may not know is that, is that although you wore twenty and Jordan wore twenty, you guys both wear twenty for for a particular reason. Yeah, um, it was our, our father's jersey number in in high school, and um, you know, uh, actually, I I had been wearing thirty three. That was my favorite number growing up. Um, you know, because I was a big Grant Hill fan, and um, I just happened to change it in, in college. I mean, excuse me, in, in high school, and um, you know, just just to honor him because he he is uh, my biggest role model in my life, and, or in our lives. So um, you know, just wanted to honor him, and you know, I guess I guess things worked out the way they did to have have the jersey, you know, hanging up, and you know, it's just not it's not me hanging up, it's, you know, it's my family, you know, everybody who who helped uh, you know raise me, who was involved in my life growing up, and you know, it's just, it just pays homage to not only myself but them as well. And, and one of the main reasons that that jersey is going to hang up is because you guys did so much winning while you were here. What it would be your advice to this year's team in terms of what does it take to be a championship team? What does it take to win big games down the stretch? Um, I say just uh, it's about togetherness and you know being able to battle adversity really well. Um, you know, uh, Briante went down with an injury. Um, Trey's been you know battling injuries all season, so. Um, you know, it's just, just they got to be able to stick together through the tough times to be able to enjoy the, the great times together. And, um, you know, they, they have all the talent in the world to do it. They, they very, they very well can, can win the conference championship still. And, um, 
you know, it's not going to be easy by any means, but if they stick together and, and listen to the coaches and, you know, play for each other, uh, you know, anything is possible.